Okay, we're going to do task number 19, which asks you to demonstrate to a student how to go from 30 feet to 50 feet and what are the physical things that happen as you go from 30 feet to 50 feet. So again, the camera is going to be the examiner and I'm going to play like you're the examiner and they've just read me the instructions and they want me to do it. So what we're going to do is pan back out again so you can see 50 feet on your left and 50 feet on my right. Those are both the two cones and we're going to demonstrate how I would teach this. So when I start, it's because I've just been read the instructions. What I like to do is show you um, what happens as you go from 30 feet to 50 feet or exactly, you know, what happens as you extend line. There's a bunch of physical things that happen in terms of your rod and your body. So we're going to show you those. What I'd like you to do is just be my student for a second and when I ask you to do something, do that like I would be asking a student. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to demonstrate and I want you to watch holistically as I go from 30 feet to 50 feet. So just watch, you don't have to look at anything specifically, just kind of see the difference in what I'm doing as I go from 30 feet to 50 feet. And I'm not going to do any hauling as I do this. So 30 feet, this is my 30 foot cast. Now I'm going to extend to 50 feet. There's 50 feet. So now what I want you to do is look at one thing at a time. The first thing I'd like you to look at, I want you to just look at my casting arc. Remember we talked about the piece of pie? My casting arc, I want you to just put your hands up. When I do 30 feet, I want you to put your hands up to mark the casting arc and then leave them there. And I'm going to go to 50 feet and I want you to see what happens as I go from the, anything. In, it, I want you to see what happens with your hands to the casting arc as I extend from 30 feet to 50 feet. So this is 30 feet, so put your hands up as soon as you start seeing where my rod stops and starts. So one hand belongs here and one hand here. That's 30 feet. Now hold it right there, don't move them. There's 50 feet, so watch, keep your hands where they are. Ready? Okay, now move your hands to where the new casting arc is. All right, so what happened to your casting arc? It did get bigger, you're exactly right. It went from here to here. So one of the things that happens as we increase our line uh, length, we have to increase our casting arc or our piece of the pie has to get bigger. Now what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to watch my body at 30 feet. Just watch my body at 30 feet. Forget the loops, just take my word for the fact that we're going 30 feet. So concentrate on my body. Okay, now I want you to look at my body when I get to 50 feet and see what happens. There's 50 feet, so watch my body at 50 feet. So what happens at 50 feet? You're right, what happens is I use a lot more of my body. At 30 feet, I was just basically just using rotation. I was just rotating my wrist back and forth to get those loops. I didn't have to move my arm, my body, my stroke length was very short. Now, not everybody has to increase their stroke length or move more body to get to 50 feet, but most people do because you're using more muscles and you get out to 50 feet. So one of the things that happens is you're going to use more energy, whether you use it more energy in just your wrist and your forearm or you use it by dispersing it over your entire body, so that's going to happen. You're going to increase your, the amount of force that you're going to use. I want you to watch one other thing. I want you to watch the pause. In other words, where does the fly, the yarn, when it stops in the front, I want you to watch how long it takes to stop. In other words, once it stops here, so what I want you to do is just clap your hand. Every time the fly stops in the front, clap your hand. So it would be like this. 
at 30 feet. Clap, 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 clap. So that's the rhythm, clap, clap, clap. Now let's get it out to 50 and see what happens to your claps. Clap, 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 clap. So what's happened? You're right, it takes a lot longer for the fly to get out there. My pause has to be longer. So my pause has to be longer because the fly takes a long time, the line takes a long time to unroll. There's one other thing that could happen, and that is if I have targets, what you're gonna see is watch my trajectory. In other words, the angle that my fly line has off the rod tip at 30 feet. And let's say I have a target at 30 feet. Watch my trajectory at 30 feet. You can see it's down in the front, up in the back. What about at 50 feet? At 50 feet, it's not gonna be quite as steep, watch. So at 50 feet, my trajectory is going to be a bit, a little less steep. So at 30, it's here. At 50, was here. So as you adjust for targets, assuming we're casting targets and not just extending line out to 50 feet, your trajectory can change. So those are the things they're going to change as we go along. One that's that's two of them are you know pretty much uh, optional. One is the trajectory, and the two is the stroke length. Stroke length doesn't have to change. In other words, you don't have to make a longer movement of your hand back and forth as you go longer, but most people do because it disperses energy more into your whole body. So that's your, that's your uh, distance, what happens when you go from 30 to 50 feet. So that's task number 19. And you'll notice that I, I uh, involved my examiners in that task. I asked them to hold their hands, and I gave them specific direct directions to what to look for. You also notice that I just went from 30 to, I didn't do any progression from 30 to 50 feet. I had them look at 30 and then look at 50. And obviously that's the way I do it because I think it's a more stark contrast. They can see the change from 30 to 50. If you just kind of go from 30 to 50, a gradually feeding line, they lose track of where it was that they first saw and where they end up. So I like doing it that way bit better, but you know, you can do it any way you think you need to do it. Uh, but that's quick, it's fast, it involves the examiners, it covers all the topics, and I think that's the, a really nice way of doing it.